Hey, what's up, peoples? Hey, what's up? It's Rasta Boy TV, and you know it's your boy, the real Rasta Boy. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook all at the damn same time. Hello, welcome to another episode of whatever. What do you want to call it? Another recap. It's damn Thursday night, and my girls are back. Not only I have one dramatic family on TV, I have two dramatic family on TV. I have Break the Family Values came out on 9 o'clock, and I have SWV came back with season two at 10 o'clock. So we TV, thank you so much for filling up my TV slots with all these dramatic shows, which I love on a Thursday night. Okay, so make sure if you have not yet subscribed to my channel here on YouTube or wherever you watch my videos on, please go ahead now and hit the subscribe button to get the latest videos and, you know, uploads from me to my blog, sorry, through my, you know, you subscribing so we can keep in touch, right? Anyway, let me dive in to Branson Family Vows. I think we're on season four. Let me make sure. Because these girls have given me like half a season sometimes. I'm not sure what season we're on. Back to Family Values, season four. Girls are on season four. Can you imagine four years they've been on TV? Oh my God. Can't we talk about the drama tonight on Back to Family Values, season four, episode one premiere? But before we go in the front, let me get my cocktail. Because you know, I love to sip and it's almost a damn weekend. It's a few minutes, it's an hour or so from the weekend. Uh, sorry, 25, some minutes from the weekend. Anyway, you know what we're going to do this weekend. Get turned up. If you're in Philadelphia, hit me up on my Twitter at the Real Rasta Boy. Because you know, I'll be doing a pool party tomorrow night in North Philly. My barbecue, my annual summer big blow up barbecue tomorrow, uh, is going to be Saturday the 16th at my crib in Delaware. So if you're in the area, try to stand on Sunday. I'll be attending the LGBT Philadelphia um, leg of um, their summer. Um, Appreciation barbecue at the park. So if you want to find out all the details and stuff, make sure you hit me on Twitter at the Real Rasta Boy. And also, you know, I'll be posting all the time pictures and everything of stuff that I'll be attending on my Instagram at the Real Rasta Boy. Also, oh shit, I was trying to tell you about a cocktail. <laughs> I'm getting too turned up already. It's not even damn Friday. I'm drinking on tonight some pina colada juice. Um, if y'all not familiar with that brand in your grocery store, it's called Sips or Sips. Um, they made this brand. Of, they made this flavor called pina colada. I love drinking it because it's nice and tropical and made me feel like I'm in the islands. So I'm drinking that tonight with some um, peach vodka. Mm. So cheers to that. But make sure you are two thumbs up the videos while watching, and let me all know if I'm missing any drama out tonight from Breakfast Family Values or SWV Reunited um, recap. Okay, so tonight's on Breakfast Family Values because it came on first. Um, it was um, Tamar's birthday. She, I think she, she's 37. I'm not sure how truthful is that, but I'm gonna go by what she says. She, she's 37 years old um, on tonight's episode, so I'm gonna give her that she's 37 years old, and um, she was just in a diva mode when she showed up at um, um, for drinks with her sisters, um, Tawanda, Trina, Tracy. And her father, Tony, was not there because you know Tony's. Um, what well, I'm gonna get in that Tony's working on um, a Broadway play called Night. Shut! Don't call me on it. The, the play is called Night After Midnight or something. I don't know. Sorry to interrupt. I love you, but I can't remember what the name of the play is that you're currently in or was in on Broadway. But she's currently on Broadway with Kenny Babyface Edmonds working on. You know, keep your money going, girl. You gotta get your hustle on. Um, it seemed like, based on the fact that um, she's on Broadway, she's sometimes she's MIA from some of these events that sisters may have. So, um, Trina, Trina Tracy, um, Tawanda met up with um, Tamar for drinks with her father, and you know, giving diva mode, asking where her presents at, and you know, she likes gifts and all stuff. You know, we all. <laughs> We all love gifts on our on our birthday, cause when it's my birthday, I'm asking my friends for my damn birthday gift at, like it's damn Christmas. I'm I'm not mad at you, Tamar, for asking for your damn birthday gift. Anyway, they were having a birthday celebration for her later on that um I think that night or next day. So um obviously they were maybe gonna get her something collectively. So not to worry, Tamar. But the night belonged to Tony Braxton. She premiered tonight. 
um, her first time on Broadway, you know, in a minute, because, you know, she did um, a few Broadway um, stuff before, but, you know, it's always, you know, nice to see my girl Tony doing, you know, a gig, and um, I love seeing her working and keeping, you know, being present out there, in, you know, in, um, in around doing stuff, because, you know, when you're not busy doing nothing, people always say, you know, she washed up or, you know, has been or whatever, so I love to see you working, Tony. And I need another, I, um, by the way, Tony Braxton, Babyface, um, Love, Marriage, and Divorce, I need another video for that album. I love at least five, six songs of that album, and we only got one video. We only got one video, really? Can we get another video for an another single? Like, what's, what, was, what was the second single? I wish... I wish he breaks your heart like you did me. I love that song. Or, um, um, I can't remember nothing right now. But we need another single, Tony Braxton and Babyface. Why we have not got a second single from the album or a second video? Come on, y'all are with, I think, Motown or something. They spending money on y'all stuff, and I'm sure Babyface and you know is a veteran in music business. I'm sure he's not there sitting on this album and make it go to waste. We need some promo on this album. Come on, we need some more videos and more singles, Tony. Please don't let the album just be a a a, a one video and one single wonder. Anyway, let me go in and keep on pressing along. So, um, Tony did gorgeous tonight. She had her she did a finger waves hairstyle, and you know when you're on Broadway, you gotta do your own makeup if you didn't know that. I learned that from Wendy Williams when she's you know I love Wendy Williams every day. Wendy Williams show. She said when you're on Broadway, you gotta do your own makeup and I think hair too. So she got her she did her own makeup tonight. She looked very beautiful and she gave me nasty old finger waves tonight. And she looked gorgeous. She sounds good also because you know Broadway is like singing and performing live either with a stage, I mean a, a band or some kind of musical stuff. So it's, it was good to see her tonight. Um, you know, all in her element. Her, her parents was there to support her, her father, her mother, um, and all the sisters except everybody was there. Everybody was there actually. Everybody was there. And after that, they went out for um, drinks to celebrate Tony Braxton night on Broadway, but it was not to be. And without the damn drama, so they went out to celebrate um, Tony's, you know, good night on Broadway. But it's always some drama. Um, the night before, um, or since before, Tamar celebrated her birthday at um, Felipe. Felipe, you know, Felipe. Felipe is this big restaurant in New York. I think they do Asian cuisine or Chinese or whatever. I don't know, but it was a fancy restaurant that they had a bunch of friends at and the families and friends. They all look cute. Again, everybody was there except Tony. You know, Tony was performing the night that, that, that not night after, and she wanted to protect her voice. You know, she's you know sicky sicky sometimes, so she had to make sure that she's not out there. You know, catching you know late night call or you know, kind of protect her voice. Um, so while they were at Tamar's birthday party, um, people were giving speeches. Everybody gave you no know, teary eyed speeches, but somebody um that was behind the family gave some speech and touched. <laughs> Um, Trina and Tawanda where they feel that they start throwing shade at the guy because they're saying that from the time that he knew Tamar she's been not she's not changed but I guess the family thing that she has and they kind of give some little shady remarks or they call <clears throat> you know when they call they say you're giving bullshit or saying bullshit and the drama started from there anyway the party seemed like he went off okay there's no argument at the part, but when they met up with Tony after her, um, you know, Broadway performance, they discussed the fact that um, Trina and T Tawanda was acting shady at the birthday party and said some, some, you know, did some little funny gestures that made it seem like they were shady towards her and I was making those smart comments. They couldn't let her have their moment of having her birthday and have people say nothing about her. But child... I don't know if the drama is going to be between Tamar and Tuana this season or what, or it's going to be T Tracy or, or what. But let me back up. Did y'all see tonight where Tracy, China Tracy, well, can we talk about Tracy first? Okay, I watched her on um, Marriage Boot Camp with her husband and all the other celebrities, um, you know, on Wee TV, and she was giving me that right here, and I was like, okay, I'll deal with it for this moment. Not everybody can pull off right here, okay? Now she's on Breakfast Family Valley's new season, giving me the same damn red hair. 
I don't know if I'm still feeling it, Tracy. I'm, I think I need a bit of switch up from you. So can you give me a little bit of switch up sometimes throughout the season and don't give me too much red hair? Please. Anyway, Gabe and Trina seem like they're back together. Say so they've been together for back together for like two months now. Seem like Miss Um What's her name? Tamar didn't know. It seemed like Tawana, you know, Tawana lived more in Atlanta. Tracy lived up in Maryland or somewhere in DMV. And to, um, um, Tamar and Tony lived all the way in LA. So it seemed like Tawana was the only one who knew that they were kind of back together, you know, reconciling their so called divorce ish, whatever was going on. Long story short, um, the, 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 the meat of the matter is after the whole debacle, after Tony Braxton celebration, that ensued between um, Tamar, Tawanda, and um, Trina. It seemed like, no, Tony was not for She had to leave even go back to bed because you know she had to make sure her voice is together. So the next day she brought the girls for lunch along with her mom and her father. Child there at the restaurant, enjoying a fancy little cup set up lunch. It seemed like a fancy restaurant and a private setup in a private room. And the drama came up again about what happened the night before. Everybody was in their feelings because, you know, um, somebody asked, sorry, Tony, Tony Braxton asked, what's a Tay Martian? And if y'all are not familiar with that name, uh, every celebrity out there, or sorry, let me say, most of the celebrities out there have a name for their fans that they use to call their fans. You know, Beyonce, the Beehive, Sierra, C-Squad, Brandy, the Stars, um, Tamar, Tay Martians. So all of that being said, they all have names for their fans and how they talk to their fans and all that stuff. So, child, it went from the Tay Martian's explanation of what a Tay Martian is to people acting rude and this and that on Twitter and Tawana saying that Tay Martians are coming for her on Twitter and, and Tamar is not protecting her and coming for her as a sister. It went from that to a blow up. You know, Tony Braxton left, obviously, she came, but with the drama. And Tamar walked out as well because she was walked out for everything because she can never stand the heat. And Tamar, sorry, Tawanda reached her boiling point tonight with her and Tamar feuding about whatever. I'm telling you no lie, that scene where she hit them damn glass over and, and cleared the damn table, she must have at least a couple of splinters on cussing bruises on that, on those two arms, because that girl, she had at least a good setup in front of her with glasses, wine glass, water glass plates and dishes and forks and knives and stuff and she just hit everything over i'm saying like, like i saw i almost sat here and saw um she coming through the screen on me glass and uh, all that all of that anyway um that's how the see that's how that episode ended we're gonna see more because tawanda went off and she stormed out and left the room and you know her sister went in and checked on her tr tr trina while sorry t tracy while trina's there crying because she can't believe that this Demarco is going on between the sisters, which should be, you know, coming together and trying to resolve issues, then son, then then trying to be apart. You know what I mean? It's really difficult to see all this going on, but I guess it makes good TV, and that's what we want to see, right? Anyway, more to come with um BFW BF BFW BFV Brighton right Family Values next week, we TV 9 p.m. Now tonight on SWV Reunited. Trial, they are back. Taj, Lily, and damn Coco. And that damn boy named Corey. Still sipping on my cocktail. Make sure y'all drinking y'all cocktail and two thumbs in up the videos. SWV tonight return. And oh my god, I'm loving the girls. I think we're at season two. Season two, episode one. This is the recap. The girls are back. And um, they left off, obviously, from, you know, Go to the drama last time with, with with management and stuff. They have no management now. Remember that guy was managing them. That thing he had managed Alicia Keys before. He quit. So now Corey is like assistant manager ish, but he's trying to get the title of being a manager. And they're like, Corey, you're not our manager. You're just doing what you do to get by right now. He was like, um, they went on a Sway show. You know, Sway Sway used to be on MTV, and Sway has like a a, a serious FM radio show now and he has many celebrities come on there and talk in the morning time so they went up there trying to you know promote the show and promote what they're doing and Corey didn't like the fact that went up there and talk about the fact that he's not their manager got all in his feelings got all in his bag and they all again drama started Corey and the girls are having argument about you know um 
you know, what he do for them, and he, the group don't appreciate him as, you know, stepping in as the manager right now, and, you know, they were like, we made ourselves, SWV, you know, you do not make us, you're just, you basically just work for us, but Corey and the drama is boiling up. Now they have a problem with, you know, that record label that's ratchet, they didn't really promote the last album that they that they made, he, they're having issues with that label right now. The label wants one more record slash one album from them, so they can do the album and get out of the contract, obviously. But, you know, Coco don't want to do the album because she's just tired of the wretchedness that happened previously and she's want to go on another label. Obviously, the man, the people on that label is not letting them out of the contract, so they must do one more album. She, Coco finally decided she'd do the album, but she will not sing lead. Girl, you are the voice of SWV. If you don't sing lead, Nobody gonna think that's SWV gonna think that's just you know everybody singing harmony. You cannot have SWV without Coco. It's just like as the guy said tonight, it's like having Destiny Child with no damn Beyonce. And I saw co sign with him. So you girls are to get together and make this shit work. We need an album. We need to stop seeing y'all fighting and all this back and forth drama. We need a damn SWV new album and new music and new singles on the damn radio and some new damn videos. Anyway, they performed at Chef Robles. You know, Chef Robles had a show on Bravo. Chef Robles had a, um, they invited him to do a mini function at his um, restaurant. They came and they did two songs. They didn't want to sing downtown because Coco is so um, caught up with the fact that her son may hear her sing about oral sex. Girl, you've been singing about sex for the longest time now. Don't think about your son. Girl, really, Coco, you think about your son? Thinking about you singing about oral sex? Girl, get over your DM cell. Miss Coco. Anyway, Taj and Lily went to go to get a spa treatment, and they went to go get beaten with some damn leaves and shit at some um, bathhouse in New York. Anyway, I'm loving that girls, they're back. SWV Reunited um, Season 2 is on WeTV, 10 o'clock, Thursday night. Check a local listing. Follow your boy on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook so you can find out what I'm doing this weekend because there's going to be a ton of shit going on at The Real Rasta Boy and hit my blog up, therealrastaboy.blogspot.com for all your latest, latest, latest entertainment news and gossip at 